Hi everybody, welcome to the video section of our Launch Metrics Support Center. Today, we're gonna to be covering how to add invitees to our event within our Invitees Manager. Hopefully you've had a chance to view our video on how to actually create the event. Within that video, that's where you'll see how we've gone and created our Support Center training video and how we've searched for that event within our Event Manager and how we've also made that event our active event. This video is gonna be covering all of the different ways that you add your invitees to your Invitees Manager and prepare them to be invited to your event. So all that starts in the events, in, or sorry, in the Invitees Manager. So to begin that process, uh, the ways that we can add our invitees that exist in our contacts database, the way that we would add those are by clicking on Add Invitee from Contacts. So once I click on that button, now I'm essentially searching through my Contacts Manager. So what I can do, I can click on Invite one by one. I can search by contact groups. I can search by specific categories as well as types, first name, last name, referred by, region, uh, any way that you'd like to go about. I also can search by events that I've previously made. So if I know that I'm working with a designer um, or a client that I invite the same people to that to, for the same type of events, I can search in my contacts manager by all the contacts that have previously been added to a, a previous event. So that's another really good strategy. I also can click add all found contacts, which would add everyone from our contacts database. Maybe not always the, the best idea. Um, or I can add the whole page. So if I wanna add everyone to this event, uh, this is when I, I can go ahead and click add all nine people from the event. I also can display only the contacts that I haven't invited yet. As you see here, all of these say invited, so I've lost that ability to just click invited because I've already invited them. So searching this way, especially when you have lots of results, is a good idea. Create and invite new contact. So this is a way that I can click and create a one-off contact. So this contact is gonna be added to my contacts database. So I can put in Eddie, the founder um, and one of our presidents at Launch Metrics. So if I wanted to put in um, a contact one-off just like this, I can go ahead and do that. So not only am I placing Eddie on our Invitees Manager or in our Invitees Manager of the event, um, I'm creating them as a contact as well. So I can click on Create. Now I want to focus here, a newly created contact has been invited to this show. So the word invited, I want people to understand that um, even though it says invited, at this point none of my invitees have any idea that they're even on my list or have been invited at all. All we've done so far is added names to my invitees list. If I take a look at one of my layout preferences, RSVP invitation email, you see a big old no. That means that no, I have not sent anyone the invitation yet. Nobody has any idea uh, that they've been invited to my show or even on my show. So just note that all the actions we're doing here we're building out our invitees list, we're, we're putting our invitees in our event and preparing them to be sent the invitation that we're gonna send to them. Now, if I wanted to remove an invitee, I can simply click on the options drop down to the left of their name and click remove invitee. I also could um, queue contacts just by checking, checking uh, the box to the left of their name and then using our queue options and then from here, uh, removing the invitees. So two ways to remove invitees. Uh, the uh, next way we're gonna talk about how to add invitees to our event is by using our um, Event Contacts Excel. So by clicking Import Invitees from Excel, this allows me to download a blank Event Contacts template. So these are contacts that we call temporary contacts. These contacts will not link to GPS radar. These contacts will not be saved to your contacts database. 
These contacts, the best, you know, great use case for using these, maybe it's a designer relative or friend. Essentially, these are contacts that you don't necessarily need to save to your contacts database, or it's a very quick and easy way of just putting names that you have on an Excel into your event. So you don't want to necessarily abuse this and have, you know, tons of events with just temporary contacts uh, because you wouldn't have any event history for your contacts, which you do have when you add them from your contacts database. So we'll just go ahead and do a couple examples. Um, you know, category, just call them press. And again, these would just be either any sort of contacts. Uh, you know, you just fill out this Excel. The same information that you do see on this Excel is going to be what, what's found um, wh when you are creating an event. You have the ability to add in RFCP information, seating information as well on this Excel. Uh, if you do have any questions on filling out an Excel, we always invite you to reach out to our Launch Metrics support team. But at this point, I just want to show how we would fill this Excel out. I'm going to save my Excel back in this window. And again, I'm going to just review how to get to that page. So it's this button that says Import Invitees from Excel. Now, if you don't see this option for you when you're working in the Invitees Manager, might just have to do with the user privileges that you do have assigned um, on the username that you're on. So always feel free to reach out to our Launch Metrics Support Center and we can help you out with that. So I'm going to click back on that button. But again, before I downloaded my blank template by clicking on this link, now I'm going to browse from my file. I'm going to select my file. And now you see that the file has been selected. I'm going to click on import. Please note the export for update changes. Uh, if you're a new user, this might not mean too much to you. If you are a, a, a legacy, an older client of ours that might have seen some changes to the export for updates, uh, definitely go ahead and read this. Uh, but once you do read this, confirm that you've read so you can go on in with the import. Now you're going to notice this pop-up window, it goes away very quickly. So it goes away in five seconds. So we see all the time teams will by accident, they'll re-import their list because they did not necessarily pay attention. They didn't think that they imported everyone successfully. So please just be mindful that when you import, keep an eye on that pop-up box. If there's any import errors, the system will, will allow you to start to process those. Maybe you have invalid email addresses or um, just you're missing a, a, a required field, a category for example. So just keep an, an eye on that. Um, I know that the eight test contacts that I put in there, they went in successfully. So now I can go back to my invitees manager and you're going to notice now that my list went from seven people to 15 people. Uh, you're going to see here and if I change my display, we're going to see all of those. Now there's a sharp difference here between the permanent database contact, they have a gray flag, and a temporary event contact with that green flag. So these contacts, they don't exist in my contact database, uh, whereas these contacts, they do all exist within my contact database. Now after your event, if you got a chance to you know, meet some of these temporary contacts and you want to add them to your contacts database, you definitely can go ahead and do that. So I can queue my contacts and then using my queue options, I actually can convert my three temporary contacts to permanent contacts. So this is kind of this is really more of a post-show uh, activity that you would do if you wanted to go ahead and, and handle that. Now the last way that we're going to go ahead and add our contacts to our invitees manager is using our industry list. So by using in, in the industry list, you do have access to the entire GPS radar community, which is close to 45,000 people at this point. So on this, you know, with this ex, with this list of people, these are all um, contacts that have applied for a GPS radar profile. They've been approved by our radar uh, profile team that doesn't make those, uh, you know, approving of uh, people that register for accounts to add the contacts. We just go ahead and we search and search by first or last name. You can search by job title. Uh, you might find a, a, a contact does have duplicate entries to radar contacts. Uh, you probably want to just go with the one that was created most recently. 
Uh, that would be a suggestion. Fashion launch metrics does not, you know, we don't update profiles for people. That is at the discretion of the radar user. So you might find that there are some contacts that, that don't necessarily have their updated contact information. Um, please note that the invite, that the contact, the radar contact user, they're in charge of updating their profile. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add Mark to our invitees list. So I do that by clicking on the actions arrow. So now one press credential, so one contact has been added to my contacts database. Now if I go to my invitees manager, you're going to notice that that contact marked is not in my list yet. What I have to do, I need to add invitee from contacts and then I need to search for my contact. You're going to see they have that pink radar badge and if you click on invite, now you'll notice that you, you, you've added your first contact from the radar industry list directly to your event. So those are the ways that we begin to build out our invitees list. Uh, we started from zero and now we're at 16. So to review, we added our invitees from our contacts database. We added our invitees one by one by creating a contact from our contacts database and adding them to our event. We looked at how to add temporary event contacts by downloading that event blank contact Excel and filling out those temporary contacts here. We've also gone ahead and utilized our, our industry list, our radar industry list that is accessible on your site uh, and currently has 45, almost 45,000 uh, fashion professionals that have been approved. So definitely utilize that list. It's a great way to add people to your event. That's going to wrap up this video. This video is focused on just how to, how to add invitees to the event. If you'd like to learn more about how to create our event, we do have a support video for that. If you'd like to learn how to work on your events mailing templates, we're also, uh, we also do have a video for that. So keep an eye out for those. Feel free to keep watching. Thanks so much for your time and, and we hope you, that you have a great day.